Welcome to the next video on flat. In this video, we are talking about Turing machine model. So let us start. To define effective computation using the concept of Turing machines, lambda calculus, combinatorial logic, post systems, and mu recursive functions, mathematicians started to give various models. And we are talking about about 1930s. Some of them were Alan Turing, Church, Klein, Schoenfinkel. So among these formalisms, the Turing's formulation is accepted as a model of algorithm or computation. So what exactly the Church Turing thesis is? It states that any algorithmic procedure that can be carried out by human beings or computer can be carried out by a Turing machine. So it has been universally accepted by computer scientists that the Turing machine provides an ideal theoretical model of a computer. So whatever a computer can do is going to be performed by the Turing machine. Why these are useful Turing machines? So as an automaton, the machine is most general model and it accepts type 0 language that is unrestricted languages. For computing functions, it can also be used. It turns out to be a mathematical model for partial recursive function or of partial recursive functions. These are also used for determining the undecidability of certain languages and measuring the space and time complexity of problems. Very much useful in design and analysis of algorithms. So what are the basic assumptions? While computing, a person writes symbols on a one-dimensional paper which can be viewed as a tape divided into cells like this. Suppose this is a tape and it it is divided into cells like this way one scans the cells one at a time and usually performs one of the three simple operations and suppose here some characters are written now what are these operations that a person can perform writing a new symbol in the cell being currently scanned suppose we are scanning this cell so what we can do we can write a new symbol in this cell okay second operation moving to the cell left of the present cell so movement can be in this direction or moving to the cell right of the present cell so right movement is also possible so right and left movement plus erasing that symbol and writing a new one so we can think turing machine model in terms of tape read write head and finite control so a finite control is connected to a read write head it has one tape as you can see here which is divided into a number of cells and each cell can store at most one symbol that is only one symbol is stored in a single cell now how the processing is being done the input to and the output from the finite state automaton are affected by this read write head which can examine one symbol at a time okay so what about move so in one move the machine examines the present symbol under the read write head on the tape and the present state of an automaton to determine something suppose if you see here here you are finding that finite control is there suppose let us say the state is q the current cell is being read and the symbol stored here is a so 
when we talk about a move depending upon the present state and the symbol present in the current cell what can be determined so the first thing that we have already said one can rewrite the things so a new symbol to be written on the tape in the cell under the read write head so here you can write a new symbol or what can happen a motion of the read write head along the tape either in the right direction or in the left direction so one cell right or one cell left so this can be determined further a transition from a state so what will be the next state okay and last thing whether to halt or not so these are the things that we can determine for a particular move okay so the acceptability of a string is decided by the reachability from some initial state to some final state so we can call that final states are also accepting states and you have to be sure that some in some case transition function may not be defined for some element so let us formally define a turing machine you can see here we have used seven tuples for defining a turing machine what are these tuples q sigma gamma delta q not b and f so q is finite non empty set of states sigma is a finite non empty set of input symbols and is a subset of gamma that is tape symbols gamma is a finite non empty set of tape symbols delta is a transition function mapping q cross gamma into q cross gamma cross l or r so these are determining the movement of read write head q not is the start or initial state belonging to q that is the finite non empty set of states p is the blank symbol and this symbol is belonging to the tape symbols f is the set of final states and f is subset of q okay now we can use certain things to represent the turing machine what are these instantaneous description using move relation transition table and transition diagram let us see one by one representation by instantaneous description an id of a turing machine m is a string alpha beta gamma just see here where beta is the present state of m so if we are talking about this thing so beta is the present state okay the entire input string suppose w is the string so this can be represented at concatenation of alpha and gamma fine the first symbol of gamma is the current symbol a under the read write head so suppose if we are having this string a b a a a and read write head is scanning this symbol okay so we are going to represent this in terms of sub strings alpha and gamma the thing is suppose the state is q so we can represent the id as a b q the present state a a a that is this the part of gamma and the first symbol of gamma is the current symbol that is a under the read write head okay so let us see one example a snapshot of turing machine has been given you have to obtain the instantaneous description okay you can see here 
A A B A B A B B B A A. This is the input string. So, as per the previous discussion, this part is nothing but alpha. This part is nothing but gamma. And you have the current state as Q1. So you can write like this. A A B A B. That is alpha. Q1. And next, what you can write? A B B B A A. So in this form, you are going to obtain the ID. Okay. Let us see. Suppose this is defined. Delta Q1 A is equal to Q2 Y R. So what exactly it means? That if you are in current state Q1, read write head is scanning symbol A, then the state will go to Q2, writing the symbol Y in place of A, a movement is in the rightward direction. So input string to be processed. As you have seen here, A A B A B A B B B A A, and the present symbol under the read write head is A. So as we have discussed, ID before processing is this thing. Okay. Now after processing A, the resulting ID will be as we have to move rightwards, writing A in place of uh, writing Y in place of A. So we are going to get this thing. Just see here, A A B A B A A B A B. In place of A, you are writing Y. The state has been changed, and you have moved one place right. So the current symbol under the read write head is what P. Okay, this portion is gamma. This portion is alpha. Okay. The change of ID is represented by this thing, the turnstile operator. Okay, so this ID has been changed to this ID. Similarly, we can have a left movement. Okay, in case of right movement, we are moving just immediate to the right symbol. Okay, while in case of left movement, suppose this one is the starting state. Here, read right head was there. Right move. We have moved one cell to the right. In the left move, you have to move one cell left. So, just see. This was the initial ID. After processing, you have to move one place left. So you can see here. This Q1 comes before this B. The symbol A has been changed to Y. The state has been changed to Q2. Okay. Again, you have find the change of ID. Okay. Now, how to represent by the transition table? We give the definition of delta in the form of a table called the transition table. Okay. Suppose if delta Q A is equal to gamma alpha beta. We write alpha, beta, gamma under the A column and in the Q row. What exactly it means? Just see here. Suppose you are having this table. Okay, Q1, B, 0, 1. So this is the row for states. Okay, these are the rows corresponding to the state. Arrow represents the initial state. One circle represents the final state. Fine. Now, what exactly this combination means? Let us just examine. That is, if current state is Q1 and the current symbol is blank, then what you have to do? You have to move to the state Q2 writing one in place of blank and 
movement is towards left so this cell means this thing that we have seen here if delta q a is equal to gamma alpha beta then we are going to write alpha beta gamma in this place okay so in place of beta you are seeing here just correlate the things q is q1 this is state a is the symbol that is blank okay fine the column corresponding to blank is this next gamma gamma is nothing but your state this thing next alpha alpha is what one and you are seeing beta that is movement of the red right head so you are representing 1 l q2 that is just correlate the things alpha beta gamma from this thing so in this form we are going to make the transition table hope this is clear now suppose we are processing this string 0 0 just see the simulation by the given transition table of a Turing machine what exactly happens the present state the initial state is q1 so you are going to see that q1 upon reading 0 what exactly happens it goes to q1 moves the read right head to the right position and writes 0 itself so let us see one by one so this is going to happen q1 upon reading 0 it writes 0 it will move to one place right and it will remain in q1 so we have to observe the states carefully one by one let us see you can see here now again delta q1 0 q1 0 right movement right it will remain in q1 and 0 is going to be written next q1 b so left movement next state q2 1 will be written just follow the simulations you can see in the screen and just follow the things left movement again left movement right movement state will be changed again right movement state will be changed blank will be written again q4 q4 see the transitions so in this way we have obtained the configuration fine final configuration as for q5 under the symbol 0 it is not defined so machine will halt okay now how to represent by the transition diagram let us see the states are represented by vertices directed edges are used to represent transitions of a state the labels are triples of the form alpha beta gamma where alpha and beta belonging to tape symbols and gamma is the direction that is left or right when there is a directed edge from qi to qj with label alpha beta gamma what exactly it means it means that delta qi alpha is equal to qj beta gamma let us see by one example just see here suppose we are having one turing machine represented by these states okay suppose one blank right one blank right as you can see here 
alpha beta gamma so here you are having suppose 1 p r so alpha is 1 beta is b and gamma is r fine movement is from q i to q j so in place of q i you are seeing q1 for this labeled h and in place of q j you are going to see q2 so you are going to see that delta q11 is equal to q2 blank right fine just see delta qi alpha is equal to qj beta gamma so qi alpha qj beta gamma so if we are going to draw the transition table for this what exactly it means present state and suppose we are writing this here tape symbols are one and blank fine so you are going to represent initial state and final state that is q1 and the second state is q2 for one it is defined in this way you are going to write three things fine again p q1 and r and this is nothing but if you observe clearly if this string the type of string that it accept is the even number of ones the strings consisting of even number of ones. how you are going to determine suppose you are in the initial state so zero number of ones next just see suppose one number of one is in content so you are moving to the next state writing blank for this but the moment you get one more one so you are coming back to q1 that is the final state and writing blank for this so this during machine accepts a string if it exhausts all the input symbols and finally is in state q1 and that is nothing but the string having even number of ones so in this way the representation can be done by an instantaneous description or a transition table or a transition diagram okay references thank you for watching